thing because we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of Russell Stover chocolates. This brand began in 1923, and this truck is a replica of the one that was used by Russell and Clara Stover when they transported chocolate from their home bungalow to their bungalow candy stores. And this is extraordinary. It's even made to look like a bungalow with the shingled roof, the chimney, and the window panes. So we thought this would be a fitting backdrop for our Today's Special Value. Now, we kicked our Today's Special Value from Russell Stover off with the tens at midnight Eastern time last night. Since that time, 35,000 have been ordered. That means 15,000 in this show. Russell Heigl, come out and join me, won't you? I sure will. Russell has been with the brand for eight and a half years. This is the fourth time we've done these, um, these yes. tins yes. on... Uh, on QVC, and we have them in the light complexion yep. and the deep complexion. That's correct. But inside the tins comes the literal sweet part. Yes, all the chocolates. Yes. All the chocolates. You're going to get six different varieties of chocolates. Mm -hmm. All recipes to this day still inspired by Clara Stover's recipes. Just and the sweetest story ever. What's in the box or in the tin, in the, in yep. the box of tins, will be dated chocolates yes. that date back to the very beginning, the first days of Russell Stover in 1923. 1923, yep. So really what you're getting in this assortment is really a flavor timeline that tells our story, our 100 year story. And what you're seeing here is our crispy and honey caramel. Now we're known for our, our caramel, our kettle cooked caramel, but we asked our, our candy makers, could you do something a little extra special for our 100 year anniversary? They, we asked them if they could put honey with that caramel, mm. and that's what they did. So what you're seeing is, yes, it's our kettle cooked caramel that we're known for, but in addition, they've added honey. Yeah. So this takes us back to the very beginning to when Russell and Clara were starting to craft those delicious chocolates in the kitchen of their bungalow home in Denver, Colorado. So that's the first piece started in 1923. In 1923, the first ones were made, and you should know we can deliver these either 11-6, 11-13, or 12-4. There is no auto delivery on these, Russell. So it's important for everyone to get what they need on the date that they need it delivered. And remember, these do not need to be refrigerated or frozen. Just store them in a cool, dry place. That's right. That's right. You know, the next piece that I'm showing you it goes to 1934. So this is our Roman nougat. This is one of the most treasured chocolates that we make at Russell Stover and it's really a nod to Clara Stover. She loved fruit flavored fillings. So that's why we wanted to include it in this assortment and it's one of the most treasured pieces on the outside as it is on the inside. Now on the inside is a lightly flavored cherry nougat that is slow cooked with care by our Russell Stover candy makers right in the heartland of America. They're folding in real cherries and real chopped almonds. Mm. So if you love the idea of almonds, of cherry of chocolate, you're absolutely going to love this Roman nougat. It's very, very hard to find, but we wanted to include it in this historic assortment for our 100 year anniversary at Russell Stover. Wow. All right. So from there, we move into 1941. 1941. Yep. And this is what we do best at Russell Stover. Again, it's our kettle cooked caramel. This time, we're adding pecans. So this is the number one piece that we make at Russell Stover. It's our kettle kettle cooked caramel coated with crunchy pecans mm. and then layered with that Russell Stover milk chocolate. And we call it a pecan delight because it delights absolutely <laughs> everybody that tries it. Sure. It has three simple ingredients. It's caramel, it's pecans, and it's milk chocolate. So a perfect uh, trifecta of ingredients. And then if you are a coconut lover and who oh, is Oh my goodness, yeah, this, this is our coconut. Is perfect, D coconut and dark chocolate dates back to 1955. 1955, so again on our timeline, when you open up this piece, you're gonna get the freshest coconut. It's made with real shredded coconut, and on the inside, you see that light, fluffy coconut. And look at how soft <laughs> and moist and fresh it is. It's perfectly balanced with dark chocolate. So five of the chocolates are going to be milk chocolate. This is where you're going to get that dark chocolate. Perfectly, uh, perfect combination with the, uh, with the coconut. Absolutely wow. perfect. It's going to transport you right to the tropics in the middle of winter. I hope, right? <laughs> yes. This is phenomenal. And then we go to 1985 That's and bring right. everyone's two favorite flavors together, oh, chocolate and peanut butter. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is our peanut butter delight. And the name says it all, mm. period. 
Yep, so when you open this piece, look at this Yum. chocolate. On the bottom is a big dollop of fresh peanut butter from our candy makers. And then before they finish, they coat it with crunchy peanuts. And then of course, uh, finish it off with all that Russell Stover milk chocolate. But again, when you see the inside, it's the recipes. That's what we're known for at Russell Stover. It's silky, it's smooth, it's light, it's so, so fresh. Wow. Yeah, and David, we make 320 different pieces at Russell Stover. Wow. So you're seeing six today, but we make 320 um, across all the different flavors that we make. So these are just a few of that we make in our, our wide variety. It's one thing that we do. We do it really, really well. We make chocolates. Russell and Clara would be very proud. Yes, right? they certainly, certainly would. And then we're going to end with something that's really special in honor of our 100 year anniversary. This is a chocolate that we make in 100 pound batches. And this is our truffle. Now this is for the ultimate chocolate lover. It's made with creamy butter and light velvety milk. So you can see how creamy this is. But what's really important to, to note is that no two are the same. And again, this is that homemade aspect that you find in all of our chocolates exactly today as it was from Russell and Claire when they were crafting chocolates in their bungalow home. Our candy makers are upholding that tradition, that quality, that craftsmanship in all of our candy kitchens to ensure that you get that same quality in all of our chocolates here today, 100 years later in 2000. 23. Wow, we are shipping on November the 6th, November the 13th, or December the 4th. 16,000 have now been ordered, wow. and you're getting these collectible tins. Now, on the tin is the 100 year badge, yep. limited edition, and you're going to choose either the deep complexion or the light complexion because all the tins are the same. It's Santa, Elf, Reindeer and That's Snowman. Right. And each one of these will hold about 22 pieces. 22 pieces, yeah. So in this collection, you're getting that 3.24 pounds, which equates to about 88 pieces. Sure. And you're getting the four tins, so about 22 pieces of chocolate crafted from Russell Stover can go into each of the tins. Oh. And to open them up, you just um, squeeze each side and they just simply open up. We'll give you a nice shot of that. Yep. yep. Coming back. <laughs> Here, we, Here go. we go. Yep. To open them up, and so you get the, the, the chocolates on the inside, that premium um, gold finish on the inside, and then that nice um, matte finish on the outside. So beautiful. And that bell and rings. The real bell on the outside as well. <laughs> yeah. Each and one has a unique embellishment. If you're embellishment. looking to keep the tins for yourself because they are great decorations or they're great gift boxes, right? Absolutely. Uh, you can do that and then put the um, the candy in cello bags and give that out as little um, little treat bags if you're uh, hosting Thanksgiving this year. Absolutely. Or if you are thinking about having these in a bowl on your desk at the office because you'll be the most popular person <laughs> at the office. You sure will be. All this works out really nicely. Look at the felt antlers on yes. the reindeer. There is a little uh, a little accoutrement on all of these, right? Yep. Yep. Each one is three dimensional. Each one has a unique embellishment. So the antlers are, are on the reindeer. Um, uh, Santa has the, the pom pom. I think we'll show that. Yep. The, the elf has the, the bell. And Oops. then, of course, the, the snowman has that iconic carrot nose. But yet, you're getting all four. Each one, has a, each one has a unique embellishment on it. Yes. And what's really great is that there we go. So you pop these together, and now you've got a beautiful. Yeah. Embellishment on each of your um, tents. Each one of these tents, how tall? About 9.25 inches tall. Yep, so they're pretty substantial. You get to choose which chocolates go inside. You'll get six bags with all of these different flavors. You can customize the assortment. So I know you love the peanut butter delight, David. I'm a big fan. We'll give you all the peanut butter delights in yours. And actually, we've added more peanut butter delight in this collection than ever before. But you can also tuck in a gift card, movie tickets. Uh, maybe you're a realtor getting a couple sets and putting your business card to thank your clients for or the last year. Or a coffee year. gift card or Coffee something. gift card, great idea. So many ways to customize them. And then also, so all the tins have a unique personality. You know, I, I say think of who the personality matches each sure. tin before you give it as a gift. And then inside, each of your Russell Stover chocolates will be beautifully wrapped in these metallic, gorgeous wrappers. And all this comes together for you. Each one is a different color. So you got something that is yeah. really impressive. You're giving this all to one person. Wow, what a gift. Uh, if you are thinking about splitting this up, it's also impressive because you can put uh, a smattering of all the different uh, varieties in the tins. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Yep, and again, I'm just showing you that peanut butter delight, how smooth, mm. silky, and creamy that peanut butter is. And it's just a nod to what we do. It's that craftsmanship. It's the quality. These are, the, you know, a testament to what Russell and Clara taught us back in 1923. And here we are 100 years later wow. sharing their story on QVC. It's just, it's an American classic. We are an American success story. I wonder if so 100 years to be ago... Here. They ever thought, wow, one day we'll sell my chocolates on, on QVC on television, right? I, I bet they had because no I'm sure idea. They, they knew, uh, well, none of us knew anything about uh, And <laughs> TV wasn't even a thing back in 1923. <laughs> so uh, this is extraordinary. To see this company come from its humble beginnings in 1923 in a small bungalow in, in yes. uh, Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado, yes. To now a global brand. Now these are still probably made in the USA. Absolutely. But it's important to know that this is a brand that really transcends the borders. Right? Absolutely. Yep. And that's Russell and Clara Stover on your screen. That's the kitchen that they started in, in their bungalow home, all in Denver, Colorado. That inspired their bungalow candy stores that they started opening. And there's the bungalow delivery truck that Russell designed and built to bring the chocolates from their home to their candy stores. Again, it's an American success story, started in their kitchen. Here we are 100 years later, doing a lot of the things they taught us still the same way and using the finest ingredients and upholding all those traditions and passions that they taught us. One thing you need to know about Russell Stover, he was a visionary he sure and a was. marketing genius. Because <laughs> follow me, this truck was created for two reasons. One, to transport chocolates from their bungalow kitchen to the candy store. Absolutely but also be a rolling advertisement. Yes, it was their first form of advertising. Mr. Stover understood that people would recognize the brand. Yes. They'd recognize the truck. And talk about it. And talk <laughs> about it to all their friends. And then suddenly it became a thing. Yes. I mean, he knew something to go viral before we knew what viral meant, right? You got it. So this is extraordinary. When this came rumbling down the streets of town, everybody was like, oh, I hope the Russell Stover truck stops for me <laughs> because it's full of sweet treats. Yes. This is remarkable and I just love that this gentleman was ahead of his time when it came he to sure marketing and, and really promoting his brand. He sure was, yeah. This is all Russell's vision. He wanted to take that concept of their home, their kitchen, bring it to their stores, and then bring it to this delivery vehicle to make it all cohesive, to tell their story. Mm. That is their story. That was their story. It's still their story today. We're so proud to bring that story to America and share it for our one 100 year anniversary. What I always tell new hosts here at QBC is your job is so much storytelling. Yes. So much about evoking memories and helping people relate to products. Absolutely. And this is a brand that is all about storytelling. Storytelling. But it's also about quality ingredients. It's about yep. quality products. And this is something that dates back 100 years. You don't stay in business for 100 days. That's if right. you're not meeting and exceeding the expectations of your customers. And this is something that Russell Stover knew back in 1923. He sure did. And the company still recognizes now 100 years later. Absolutely, yep. We're, we're so proud of that. Um, we honor that every single day. We, uh, we now produce 55 million pounds of chocolate each year. Say that again. 55 million pounds. So starting in the kitchen. That's how many to you produce today, a year. Uh, yeah. So again, humble, humble beginnings, an American success story, starting in the kitchen to now producing 55 million pounds of chocolates. Again, still some, um, all inspired by Clara Stover's original recipes. Uh, we make 320 different pieces, so different oh. varieties, different flavors, different shapes, different sizes. I've told this story before. When I was in high school, I worked part-time at a drugstore. Yes. I was a stock clerk, and our high-end chocolate brand was Russell Stover. Yes. People would come in and say, I need to buy some really nice chocolates. What would you recommend? I'm like, follow me to the Russell Stover. Russell place. Stover, please. Yeah, and so at Christmas time, we would sell the big Russell Stover samplers. We would also sell the little boxes at yes. Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. Oh, my word. It was something so special. And when people wanted the very best of the best, they bought yep. Russell Stover. Yep. yep. And we always say we always use the finest. And actually, that slogan is on the front of the bungalow delivery truck. We always have the finest ingredients. We, we uphold that quality, that tradition. That's what sets us apart. We're known for our recipes. We make chocolates for everyone. You know, when we think about all the different varieties, a lot of companies specialize in one or two. We make 320 different varieties. Mm. Chocolates for everybody. We uphold that um, today. We're just so passionate about what we do. This is great evidence of that. Now, you're going to receive four tins. Now, your tins will be Santa. We'll come back and look at the tins here in a moment. 
So 10's right here in front of me. There we go. So here is the Santa. Here is the elf. Here's the reindeer and the snowman. Now this is the light yep. version or light complexion, I should say. The deep complexion, the same tins, but with a darker skin tone. Yep, for the yep. Santa and the